hello everyone welcome to the next video of uh, software engineering and in this particular video we will see mcqs of unit number two which is issue in software design issues in software design so this is the nine plus cgp mcq series and this series is, will go till your interim exam so make sure to subscribe the channel in order to score good cgp so uh, for this video the first question is what is the primary goal of software in software design very fundamental question uh, the primary goal of software design is to develop a software with high quality and reliability so option b will be correct next question what is the modularity in system or software design option is the process of breaking down a system into a smaller manageable components yeah option a is correct next question what is cohesion in software design guys cohesion coupling is very important from unit number two so if you don't know that concept go through a article or you can go through your ppts otherwise you can watch this video i, I have discussed all the mcqs here all the important mcqs from all the units here only so option is the degree to which modules are independent of one another option b the degree to which modules are tightly integrated and focused on a single task yeah option b is correct this is actually a cohesion question number four is what is coupling in software design option c is correct the degree to which modules communicate with each other is actually coupling in software design so option c is correct next question which of the following is an example of low coupling option c is actually the example of low coupling in which given is modules a and modules b have no i no interaction with each other so it is actually a low coupling example next question what is the primary purpose of using a layered architecture in software design so layered art architecture is used to separate concern and promote modularity so option c is correct next question which of the following is an example of high level coupling between software components option is the module directly access global variables defined in another modules no this is not correct a module communicates with another module through well-defined interface it is also not correct a modules is dependent on the internal implementation of details of another module yeah this is actually a high level coupling between software components so option c is correct next question which of the following is a characteristics of a good software design option c is the correct orthogonality between components is a characteristics of a good software design next question which of the following is not a characteristics of a well-designed software de system so monolithic architecture is not a characteristics of a well-designed software system high cohesion low coupling and orthogonality is the characteristics okay so keep remember this point also next question which of the following is not a benefit of modularity in software design option a ease in maintenance ease in understanding increased coupling reusability of components option c is correct increased coupling is not a benefit of modularity in so uh, software design next question what is layering in software design option a is correct the process of organizing modules into layers based on a functionality is actually layering in software design next question in function oriented software design what is the primary focus option b will be correct breaking down the system into a smaller function is the primary focus in functional oriented function oriented software design next question which diagram is used to represent the flow of data in system so data flow diagram is used option c is correct here next question 
which of the following is not represented in data flow diagram dft so user interface design is not represented in the data flow diagram option d is correct 16th question in a data flow diagram what does a rectangle represent rectangle actually represent a process so option a is correct next question in a data flow diagram what does an oval represent so oval shape actually represent internal entity external entity sorry so option d is correct next question what is the purpose of a structure chart in software design so the purpose of a structure chart in the software design is to represent the hierarchy of modules in a system so option b is correct next question what does a box represent in a structure chart very fundamental question box actually represent module in a structure chart next question what is the primary advantage of modularity in software design so option b is correct ease of maintenance is the primary advantage of modularity in software or system design next question which of the following statement about coupling is true option b will be correct low coupling leads to better modularization and easier maintenance so high cohesion and low coupling should be there for the better software or system design high cohesion low coupling keep remember this point high cohesion cohesion should be high and coupling should be low okay next question in function oriented software design what is the purpose of breaking down the system into a smaller function option c is correct to improve reusability and maintainability next question which of the following is not a benefit of layering in software design option b will be correct increased coupling between layers is not a benefit of layering in software design next question what is the primary disadvantage of high coupling in software design option b will be correct reduced maintainability if you if you use high coupling in the software design then it will reduce the maintainability of the software next question which of the following is an example of highly cohesive module option b will be correct a module that performs only one specific task task is an example of highly cohesive module next question in a data flow diagram what does a double line represent so double line actually represent data stored so option d is the correct repositories is also represented by the double line so in the option if repository is given you can also tick those option next question what is the main advantage of using a structured chart in software design options b is correct it actually represents the hierarchy of modules in a system next question in software design what does the term granularity refers to so granularity actually refers to the size or a level of details of a module or a component in a software design so option a is correct this was all about the uh, unit number two we will make one more videos of unit number three and one extra videos of previous year mcqs make sure to watch those videos you can find those videos in the description box or go through the playlist of the channel thank you so much for watching the videos bye bye